Hello fellow Cook Shackers, my name is Butch Flick and I'm the Continuous Improvement Manager here at Cook Shack. Uh, I'm with you here today to simulate you just getting your new PG-1000. So it's just come off the truck, I know you're excited, your blood's pumping, you just want to you just want to get it off the rack and start cooking, but uh, listen to me for half a second and I'll show you how it can be exciting and safe at the same time. So what we're going to start with is removing these straps that is holding the unit down on the pallet and then we're going to use a hammer to remove this board so that you can find a friend and safely get this off the pallet onto the ground. After removing your pellet grill from the pallet, the first thing you're going to want to do is check for these included accessories. You're going to have four casters on the bottom of the unit, a pellet ashtray, and a warming drawer. A heat deflector, a cast iron grill, a grease deflector, a lower shelf, and an upper shelf grill. A side shelf, a chimney assembly, 40 pounds of Cook Shack Hickory pellets, a drain bucket, operator's manual, and a Cook Shack registration card. Once you're sure that you've got all of your accessories, you'll need to find a location for your grill. We recommend a place that's outdoors and has the proper ventilation needed for smoking. Uh, you'll want to cover it from the elements whenever you're not using it or store it in a place where the elements can't get to it. Finally, you'll need access to a standard three-prong outlet. Moving on to the assembly portion of putting your grill together, uh, first thing you'll need is a drill with a 5 16 bit. We'll start by installing the side shelf here on the right side of your smoker. So we're going to remove the screws that uh, line up with the shelf holes and then we'll install it there on the side. Before placing your side shelf on, we're going to go ahead and remove these screws for the chimney assembly. I'm going to use a Phillips uh, screwdriver. When cooking in your pellet grill for the first time, we're going to do what's called seasoning your grill. There's three easy steps. Fill your hopper up with pellets, plug your smoker in, and turn her on. You'll set your temperature to 400 degrees and let it smoke for one hour. As your unit is firing up, you'll want to go ahead and leave your lid up so that oxygen can get to your fire pot. If you look down in there, you'll be able to tell whenever the pellets light up and your fire starts. The other thing you can do is rub your cast iron grill with some oil to get it seasoned. With your pellet grill seasoned and you ready to cook for the first time, uh, remember that cooking can get pretty messy. What we do in order to cut down this mess is use some heavy duty tin foil. We like to line our grease shield, our pellet uh, ashtray, and our drip bucket with this foil and then it's easy to dump it out.
Before throwing your meat on, make sure you have a hopper full of pellets and your drain bucket in place. After you're done cooking and you're ready to clean your grill, the first thing you'll want to do is disconnect your smoker and allow enough time for it to cool down. You can take your grills and your shelves out, clean them with soap and water. The next thing you'll want to do is discard all of the aluminum foil that we put in earlier on the grease shield, your drain bucket, and the pellet ashtray. Make sure not to burn yourself on any of the remnant pellets that could still be hot in there. Use a paper towel and a flat edge scraper to remove any of the buildup grease that's on the side of the walls. And also make sure not to use a caustic cleaner on your grill. Now that you're an expert of setting up PG-1000s, it's time for you to start cooking and become an expert on cooking on PG-1000s. If you've got any more questions, give us a call at 1-800-423-0698 or visit us online at www.cookshack.com.